Hey guys, welcome back to Professional WordPress Web Development Course. In our last video, we have covered all the widgets uh, that were under the basic category over here for the Elementor free version. And uh, probably there were around 10 widgets, right? So we had created a page which comprises of all these 10 widgets. So now in this video, what we'll do is uh, Elementor has one more category of widgets that are called as general. And these widgets are also completely free of cost. Uh, in the sense that uh, with free version of Elementor Pro, uh, sorry, the free version of Elementor, we get all these widgets and we don't have to pay anything till here. And uh, trust me, these, the, uh, the plugin developers have been so generous that they have given some of the most useful uh, widgets over here, like let's say image box, icon box, carousels, star ratings, gallery, icon list, counters, progress bars, testimonials, tabs right so in this video what we'll do is we'll just go through with uh, briefly uh, regarding all these widgets and see what can be done by using these widgets and what are the styling options available for these widgets right so what i have done is i have created a page in my from my dashboard and i have just renamed it as general elements and as you can see I just created this first component and uh, says, did set some background image for that and added a heading element Right. This is uh, already we have seen how to do this in our last video. If you haven't watched that, uh, I recommend you go and watch it for and then because it is important that you know things sequentially because we'll, we are going in a procedure, right? Uh, okay, fine. So let's get started. The first element here is image box. The first element or you can say widget here is image box. So image box widget comprises of this section or else you can say this uh, part called uh, parts like image title and description there are the three elements that is combined in this image box right and uh, this is important this is useful this widget is extremely useful when you are creating a website and you want to display some details say uh, three to four images in a row or here we have uh, created three columns over here and then in a one row we have three columns and i have added three image box widgets so let's say if this is a section where i want to show uh, that what we do we do app development we do web development and we also create online courses uh, this is for my business so your clients requirements can be different or your web design requirements can be different based on that you can utilize this uh, you know a yeah, widget so what you need to do how to use it is just simply drag it and drop it somewhere here let me drag it inside this column and as soon as you drag it it will something it will look something like this and here if you select you need to select the image right uh, there, there is no image over here right now so you just need to select the image first you can randomly select some image and then click on insert media and then you need to see what is the image size that you want to apply over here let's keep it full for now and then you can change the heading box heading and this is the description let us just keep it as it is you can add anything that you want right and now let's see the styling options how do we make this look like this right so let's explore go to here under styles option you have this uh, styling options for if you if you click on this image you have styling options for image and secondary styling options for content content is nothing but this text heading and description and first let's see what are the options given for image styling if you open this you have spacing option you can increase or decrease the space and then width of the image right you can increase or decrease the image width maximum and percentage and then you can also decide the border radius of the image uh, this can be useful in some cases but right now it doesn't look good in this way so probably we are good with this right so you have the flexibility you have the options to change the border radius as well of that particular image right now we know that and then our animation 
do you want as soon as uh, your visitor brings the mouse over here on the image do you want uh, to do something do you want to the image to shrink or do you want image to pulse right based on these animations over here there are so many tons of animations available over here and you can choose between that right uh, for this video i don't think this looks professional it is fancy of course but it doesn't look uh, appropriate so for this particular design right so let me just click on this cancel and none is applied now let's scroll down and you can add css filters you can just play around with these uh, css filters over here you can change the brightness of the image or increase the brightness right this depends upon your aesthetics and uh, what are, what is the requirement anyhow whatever the image we'll be using you already know what image you need right and generally uh, in a company graphic designers are the one who does the image graphics right and then once the finished image it is is ready they hand it over to you to apply it on the website so you don't have to worry about editing image inside elementor but still uh, in case of slight moderation is required you have these options right you can update saturation you can decrease or increase this and just play around with these options and uh, i don't recommend using these css filters but still you can just experiment right if you are a graphic designer then uh, definitely you will love this feature and then you can increase or decrease the opacity right and then transition duration the animation that we have applied if what kind of transition you want that is also yeah, that that can also be decided over here or the css filters as soon as you hover it uh, the css uh, filters effect can be applied based on the transition timing and now let's close this image section and now let's go to content and here in the content section you have the alignment option to left align center right align and justify the content right um, in most of the cases people use justified content but based on the design requirements you can you have these options as well right let me keep it justified over here and vertical alignment do you want it to be in the center or in the bottom or in the top now after that we have this title styling options you can again you have this option to change the spacing between this description and heading right and of course you have option to change colors you might want to change color and then typography you can update the family font family right and then wait and then you have this option to change colors of the description and then again font family you can update it here and font weight as well so you can create you can play around with these options and uh, see how well you can design it and the important thing is it should look fancy at the same place at the same time it has to look decent and professional as well right so just go ahead and try it out let's move on to the next widget yeah before before that let me also show you what are the advanced options here so here this is the widget right complete widget comprising of image heading and uh, description now we can assign margin to this complete widget if i assign margin say 25 you can see there is a cap over here there is a margin assigned on all the sides now you can unlock this and then you can update single margin as well right and then you can update and then in case you want to do it this way you can do it these are all alignment uh, settings kind of alignment settings where we adjust margins and pad paddings z index css id and classes 
also you can assign a slight motion effects as well scrolling effects in this I, i'll explain you this in some later videos right now this is this is an advanced topic for you to understand and grasp it right you can just yours is free to play around with this but i'll try to explain it in detail how to create animations in elementor in a completely different video right okay now under advanced you can adjust paddings and uh, you know paddings in the sense this way you need to understand there is a slight difference between what is padding and what is margin before you work with this settings you need to understand what is the difference exactly what is happening in behind the door all right let's make it zero right let's keep it like this and now i think we have completed image box and now let's move ahead 